Hey Summit County, you are watching Summit Sunrise here on TV8 Summit. I'm Ashley and I'm joined by Chris with the Tiny Doors Project in Frisco. It's a super cool thing happening. How's it going? Good, thank you. Awesome. Let's talk a little bit um, about this project, um, why you started it, um, and how it all works. Well, Tiny Doors is basically a project that we started in mid-June or so. It's a really a new idea and the whole idea is it's a free interactive community art project. Um, for the town of Frisco and the idea is to place tiny doors which are artistic streetscapes around the town so that people can enjoy themselves looking in a scavenger hunt style um, for these little objects in which are they're not hidden they're provided in plain sight around town so they're viewable to anyone but they are small so it's a little bit difficult to find them right how small are they um, I, it's really based on the person who creates them. It's an artistic project, but about four inches by eight inches. Okay, so definitely really tall. And here's a, a shot here on the screen right there. Um, and I've seen that logo before, the little question mark. Yeah, we're um, on Facebook and we've been around and a lot of the businesses have um, put out their cards by the cash registers in different areas. Summit County Preschool has information about it and so forth. Cool. So how do people go about finding these? I mean, you said they're in plain sight, but would someone just wander down Main Street? Or are you guys giving out clues? Mm -hmm. Literally, um, there's. we just started, so there's only one out there. Ah. And this is going to be something that's going to be rolled out over time, and it's really based on community members and businesses who want to create the door as far as how many are going to be out there. With this first one, I can tell you, as you go right down Main Street, it is right there, viewable to anyone in plain sight, but it's not real easy to find. Um, it's about four inches by eight inches, and then what we've done is we've provided clues, a series of five different clues um, that kind of give you an idea around town where you may want to look. Cool. So businesses or individuals can sort Definitely. of participate in this, Def anyone who wants to be a part of it. Definitely. Um, Stork and Bear is a company that has already um, been involved in it. And then there's just regular individuals. Um, one lady who's 35 years old went to high school here in Summit County and has lived here her whole life is in the process of creating a tiny door. And that's going to be something coming out in the next couple of weeks. So it's, it's really a combination of whoever wants to be involved in it. Cool. Um, and uh, the whole concept, tiny doors, I mean, was there something behind that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not something I created uniquely. Um, honestly, I was reading the Sunday newspaper in Tampa, Florida, and it was an idea that came um, through a newspaper article about a similar project in Zephyr Hills, Florida. I started researching it, and also there's other communities. Um, I've seen a project with gnomes in Poland. I've seen fairy doors in Ann Arbor, <laughs> Michigan. There's another project in Tiny Doors, Atlanta. And it was an interesting thing. I live on Frisco Main Street, and I honestly sent the idea into the town of Frisco, and they responded back that they thought it was a great idea and were wondering if I was interested in it. Started talking about friends and other people who were interested in continuing it, and it kind of just took off from there over the last couple months. Awesome. So does the town of Frisco endorse this? Is this like a town of Frisco activity necessarily? No, definitely. Okay. No, it's not endorsed or commissioned by the town of Frisco, although it is something that I've talked to the Visitor Information Center about. Cool. They do have the cards within there, so as visitors to the town come through and find different activities, that's something. And it is definitely something that they're open to maybe contributing by they could create their own tiny door um, and contribute in the project in that manner, but it's not something endorsed by the town. So it's a real grassroots, kind of just community art movement. If I wanted to create my own tiny door, just maybe for the sake of creativity or to mm -hmm. promote my business, mm -hmm. how, what would be my first step? How would I get involved? You would definitely want to contact us and okay. we can provide you direction. It's kind of interesting because the other projects that I explored in those other towns, they were all done by a secret individual. Oh. A, and no one knows who's doing them. And my idea with the town of Frisco is to kind of flip it on its head and make it a community thing where anyone can create these tiny doors. Just simply emailing us at tinydoorsfrisco at gmail.com can put you in contact with us. We also have a Facebook page as well. Okay, and it's Tiny Doors Frisco, the mm -hmm. Facebook page? Yes. Awesome. And you also have information on a website? Correct, tinydoorsfrisco.com. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so if any of you out there want to get involved, if you're an individual or a business, this sounds like a really fun way to just unleash your creativity and, and be part of the community. Yeah, that's cool. what the hope is. Chris, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. 
Stay tuned for more Summit Sunrise. We will be right back after a short break.